Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Um, also, a quick update only here. Um, it's basically followed the wave count suggestion from the previous video that we had here in Elliott Wave Triangle, A, B, C, D, E. We now need to see if this is over. Um, this is certainly a possibility if it pushes any higher then it's either not a triangle at all or the wave C wasn't finished yet because it needs to stay to, to remain a valid triangle in this particular wave count. It now needs to break down. Um, first indication that we are coming down to follow the C wave here because at the moment I see this Elliott wave triangle A, B, C, D, E as the um, completion of the B wave which would result in a C wave to the downside, possibly to the lower end of this target box, this support box that we've been talking about in previous videos that goes all the way down to 13,360. A break below that would um, make a, a move up afterwards, very unlikely. So we are then gonna follow the, the view that we are going to go down directly to new lows for Bitcoin. Um, that would be in the region around 14K probably. Um, but yeah, overall here, that's now the decision the market needs to take. Triangles, by the way, always emphasize uncertainty in the market. So the market hasn't really made up its mind yet. We are also in a very well in a, in a in quite a large um, messy sideways trend channel, which again just is another emphasis for the market is not really uh, yeah hasn't really decided where to go. You know the, the chart wants to do several things at once, going up, going down. Very choppy market conditions here, uh, but this is a possible small or micro wave count. A, B, C, D, E. And what we need to do to not not to invalidate this triangle is we need to stay below 16,787, so below the A wave high. Yeah, because until we get to the A wave high, this could just all be an extended C wave. But for now, we can assume C wave was over, D wave was over, even though it was very short. Yeah. Um, so we, we need to observe that. But a break below the D wave low would indicate that we are breaking down here and then the B wave low break would confirm that a little problem that we have here is that the B wave low is anyway the lowest level anyway so um, that won't help but the D wave break will help us to understand that we are heading down. Also you have a bit of an which is very ugly an inverse head and shoulders here um, but that's very ugly I don't think that's valid actually with that spike to the upside so um, I wouldn't put too much emphasis on that but it's rather this edit wave triangle that I'm observing for this B wave, which would then result in another wave down. Um, breaking above the A wave high would be an indication that we will not get this lower low before we go up um, because it would invalidate the triangle and would suggest something more bullish is going on here. And the move above the X wave high together with breaking out of that trend channel here would basically confirm for me that a low has been made. Yeah, I mean, we are now in this channel. We can bounce here for a little while before we see a decision. Um, unfortunately, that is what it is. And I would still at the moment be expecting a move to the upside here in a C wave to around 17.3K, maybe to around 17.7K. That's sort of the range. But above 17.7, we are looking at something different, something more bullish. Let me just check that. It's actually, mm, did it, no, it's actually, let me just think. No, that's not correct. Depends a bit on how low we go. Yeah, 17.7, .7, it was actually correct. The 1.618 extension, because then going above that level would indicate that this is not an ABC anymore, because the C wave would be too long. It's most likely something like a five wave move to the upside then, which could take us into the 19 to 20K region. But we won't know that until we see a decision up there, um, if it's gonna fail and will break down or if it's gonna hold support and then we'll most likely put another leg to the upside in. At the moment we are in this channel, so very indecisive market environment. Important for you is to understand that this is a support level below that level. Um, we are most likely gonna go down directly without a leg up and I told you all the key breakout points here to the upside. Okay, that's my update about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership and um, yeah, also check out our Instagram, Twitter, and maybe the trading course that we offer on morecryptoonline.com. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.